Hi, I'm Danny, and welcome to my channel. For today's video, I have my August update to the That's Expensive Project Pan. This is a Fantastic Ladies collab that was created by Misty, and I will have all of that information linked down below. We're to choose eight to 10 of our most expensive items and set whatever goal we would like. Now, the word expensive is relative to each person in their collection. Some people have high-end products, and other people, their most expensive items could be from the drugstore. It doesn't matter, just choose your most expensive item in whatever category you'd like to work on and put it into this project. I've been working on eight items at a time and I have several empties for this update I am pretty excited about. I've been working on some of these products for months and I finally have some empties. So let's go ahead and get started with a product that has been in here since the beginning, which was back in December 28th. So that product is my Grown Alchemist Detox Night Cream. As of the last update, I had used this 38 times. I have used it 24 more and this is empty. I squoze every bit out of here that I could. This was not brand new when I rolled it into the project. It was down to here. So I worked on this portion in a different project pan. So in this project, I got 62 uses out of this and this is my first empty. Next, I have my MAC Spellbinder Shadow in the shade Swing on a Star. As of the last update, I had used this 166 times. I have used it 18 more, and this is what it's looking like now. So I have lowered it a little bit more in the pan. I'm making pretty consistent progress on this. I always like to give a swatch. It is a very light shade. It looks black in the pan, but it is very deceiving. So this is it right here. And I do love to wear this in my outer corner with most eyeshadow looks that I create. So I'm at 184 uses. My goal is to finish this. Next, I have my Charlotte Tilbury Matte Revolution Lipstick in the shade Bond Girl. As of the last update, I used this 28 times to get down to here. I have used it 13 more and I am down to here now. I was able to make a new mark, so I'm at a total of 41 uses. Let me show you how that lines up. So hopefully you can see I'm, hold on, whoops, there we go. I'm right at that line right there. So 41 uses, this is what I have on my lips today. I'll give you a swatch of it. It's just a really pretty pinky nude shade. I love this one. So 41 uses, again, my goal is to completely finish this. The next product I have in here is my Becca Ultimate Coverage. It's a foundation in the shade Vanilla. As of the last update, I had used this 98 times to get down to here. I used it 12 more, and hopefully you can see that is an empty. I tried to get every bit out of here that I could. I scraped all along the sides, down at the bottom, so I got 110 uses on this, and this is another empty in this project. I did really enjoy that foundation. I wish I could pick it up again. If I could, I would definitely buy that. I really enjoyed it. Next, after that, I have my Avant Micellar Water. As of the last update, I had used this 127 times to get down to here. I only had to use it 13 more, and this one is gone. So I got 140 uses on this. This is my favorite micellar water, I absolutely love it. So this is another empty for this update. Next, I have my 111 Skin Hyaluronic Acid Aqua Booster. As of the last update, I had used this 39 times. I had to use it 27 more and this is completely empty. Every, well, there's a little bit right there. Other than that, the entire container is empty. I really like this. This was an amazing serum. The only thing I don't like about this is the price. If this was less expensive, I would definitely buy this. This is valued at $135, and there's no way I would pay that for a hyaluronic acid. But this is another empty that I have. After that, I have my IGK Mistress Hydrating Hair Balm. As of the last update, I had used this 16 times. I have used it six more, and I still can't make marks, and I still can't give you any weight. So I have used this 22 times. I did decant some of it into another container. I still have this much to go before the measurements and the weights on this is accurate, and I didn't weigh this when I put it in here. This was the one that I took traveling with me. If I shine a light through it, it is down to here but again, 
there's more product than just that. So I'm at 22 uses. I'm hoping that by the next update, this can be gone so I can go back to tracking weights and marking it on the container. This one will still stay in the project. After that, I have my Natasha Denona I Need a New Glow Highlighter. This is stunning. This one I only rolled in for a 20 usage goal. As of the last update, I'd use it 13 times. I used it seven more, and so I hit my 20 use goal. So this one will be rolling out of the project. This is what it looks like right here. It is beautiful. So from the last update to this update with seven uses, I don't have any weight changes. As a matter of fact, with 20 uses, it only went down one one hundredth of a gram. This is gorgeous. I absolutely love it. So I have hit my goal. I had a usage goal here and I have four empties. I have my micellar water, a foundation, the night cream, and then a hyaluronic acid. So it is time for me to roll in new products. And everything that I'm rolling in, the goal is to finish. So instead of rolling in five items, I am rolling in six reason I'm rolling in six is because of this one right here. I want to work on my Sunday Riley Good Jeans All-in-One Lactic Acid Treatment. This is valued at $85, so it is my most expensive exfoliant. However, I have a little sample of the same thing, and this one has been used. You can see that there it's not a full tube, so I want to finish this one and then move over to this one. Because it has uses on it, I think this will be done before the next update, so they'll start, start working on this one. After that, I'm going to be rolling in another Avant Micellar Water. Like I said, this is my favorite. I do have backups, so I'm rolling this one in. Again, this one is worth $90. Next, I'll be rolling in a Biro Bitter Green Essence Toner. This is brand new. You can see it's up to here. I will mark all of these, takes weights, etc. I did just finish one of these in 50 Shades of Green, and I miss it, so I want to put another one in. So this one is valued at $95. So it is definitely my most expensive toner. I have an eye cream. This is the Elemis Pro Collagen Eye Revive Mask. It's 15 mils or half an ounce, valued at $82. So this is brand new. Let's see. Hopefully you can see the product in there. It's kind of difficult to see because it's about the same color as the inner packaging. But my again, my goal is to finish this. And then the final product that I am rolling in is a foundation. This is my QMS Meta Cosmetics Active Glow Tinted Day Cream. This has 50 mils or 1.7 ounces, and this is valued at $105. So this looks a bit too dark for me. Right here, well, it looks just a little bit too dark for me, but once it is sheared out, it's not that bad. So I want to see if I can wear it as is, if I need to add a little bit of a lightener in there. You can kind of see where the line is, where the product is. And then again, you can also see my watch tan. <laughs> so it's all over the back of my hand. It doesn't look that bad. So I want to try it out, see if I can wear it as it is. It is a very sheer product and I like that. I'm experimenting around with like BB creams and CC creams and just tinted moisturizers to see if I like the coverage it gives me and to find some new formulas that I may enjoy. So with the four products I finished, foundation, micellar water, night cream, and a hyaluronic acid, these value $394, just these four products. So I'm loving this project. It's helping me use up these expensive items that I have in my collection, and it's really helping me work my way to, panning my way to 5K, which is the challenge I'm doing this year to try to finish up $5,000 worth of makeup, skincare, and hair care. So I am well on my way. I'm really excited about that challenge, and this project is definitely helping. So that is my entire update. If you would like to do this, please feel free to join along. It is open to anybody. And before you go, if you haven't, I hope that you'll please subscribe to my channel and ring that bell so you're notified every time I upload a new video. Thank you so much for stopping by. Mm -hmm.